Hi, I'm Christophe for uh, the YouTube channel Wine Wolf Spreading. So today I uh, will be another testing about uh, a wine that we try already. It's uh, La Chimère 2015-17 Part 2. So this is the second episode. Or why a second episode? Nice and easy. Uh, I taste this wine um, in the end of July. Uh, and I was a bit disappointed the first time I tasted it. Uh, it was very close, a lot of acidity, not really well balanced. So it was just before um, I was going to, to, to my holiday, so I took that bottle with me and uh, we leave it in a car for two days. I had the time to go to Strasbourg from uh, Bratislava with a one stop in, uh, in Prague. So that bottle stayed two days. Arriving in holiday, and uh, I decide to to test it again, you know, uh, because first uh, my need of wine, and end up, and ending up in a small village in Slovakia was not so easy to find wine in that time. So I decide to to test it again, not a second chance, but to test it again, and I get just stunned by the quality of the wine. So in two days, one thousand uh, and two hundred kilometer later. And two days later, the wine was turning. So I just to un to interrogate myself, to interrogate myself about the the quality of the wine, and I decided to make a second experiences with actually today. So uh, of course I will not go uh, travel uh, for one thousand two hundred kilometer around the block uh, to taste the wine again, but uh, to leave it open for two days, two days, so almost forty eight hours of decanting. I uh, opened this bottle uh, on Sunday morning, so we are Tuesday, 11 o'clock. I opened this bottle Sunday morning, decanted it for at least 12 hours, so I leave it in the kind of decanter, quite funny one, and put it back in the bottle uh, Sunday evening around midnight, and leave it in the fridge until this morning, 11 o'clock. So uh, I will be frank, I haven't tasted the wine before, so it will be definitely a, a live emotion. So I do like with wine. So uh, I'm going to test it first, first before not to be decant. Might be a bit cold, sadly. I'm stupid. I am. I've been so busy this morning. Yeah, looking definitely excellent. Ah, perfect. Uh, so I will leave it decant a bit. So we're testing uh, La Chimère 2015 17, 0.17. So uh, that is a blend of two vintage. Uh, I think Philippe start to get some 2015 left and uh, maybe a less of 17 and start to uh, fermenting, fermenting back the 2015 with the 17 uh, mode. That's very interesting. Not usual in Alsace, that's for sure. So we are Riesling coming from uh, the site uh, Liedi called Kefferberg with an Erger sign. We are around uh, tw um, 10 miles, 12 miles on the west part of Strasbourg, uh, the vineyard called La Couronne d'Or. Well, Les vignobles de Strasbourg, no? Well, Strasbourg Varniab. All right, that's, that's definitely a different wine than Sunday morning. Uh, even if two hours after I taste it, you get that, uh, you know, that uh, good souris, uh, mouse taste, the quality silly name for, for a wine, tastes like foie gras, goose liver pate taste. Um, but it's absolutely disappear, you know. Then people say it doesn't disappear. Yes, it does. It's about you have to leave your wine open a long time. Don't be afraid, huh? you know. Uh, they are natural wines, so they are used to 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 interact with oxygen. So please don't be afraid to, to do to do that here. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. I'm just telling. Mm. All right. So very interesting, as I say. Uh, 
It's definitely a different wine than, uh, than Sunday morning. Sunday morning, as the first time I tasted, but I tested it in July, so there are, there are different kind of climatic uh, condition to, to test it. I have to be careful with that sometime. And uh, it's definitely a different wine. You know, uh, first thing when I taste it, it's the same thing. Not very expressive, a bit, a bit close, but very, a bit close, very close, very tight, lot of acidity. Not really well balanced wine, um, but as a professional you are, you know very well that uh, that uh, you need to bring some oxygen to the wine. And what I did, well, that uh, I push. I push on 40 hours decanting, you know, uh, for some people say, oh, two days of decanting, uh, is it too much? Don't you think you are a bit crazy? No, 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 not at all, you know, no, no, not at all, you know, just know the wine. Of course, you know very well that uh, if someone, after two hours in carafe, he will be absolutely dead. Definitely natural wine. Some of them, you can leave it 48 hours, 72 a week, you know, you will be very surprised by the quality of the wine. And it's maybe like that, uh, um, I guess, uh, a good point of quality wine in natural wine. When you can leave the bottle for four days, five days, six days, seven days open, and you taste it after, and it's still good, and even better sometimes, and that is a good sign of quality wine. And I know the wine from Philippe, from, two, from 1998 vintage, and trust me, the kind of wine you can leave it for two days, three days, four days open in your fridge, that's very important, and the wine just bring in quality. And I wanted to get that uh, fixed uh, with that uh, Chimere 2015 and point 2017. It's a crappy thing to say. You are new. We are not used to, to say two vintage in the same bottle. And trust me, this is a wonderful, wonderful one. So after 48 hours of, uh, of opening uh, with uh, 15 hours of decanting, that is making wonderful. So let's taste. It should be ready now. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so very good sample nose. We're losing that uh, kind of facility, of volatile acidity that we get in, uh, in the beginning, and uh, there's definitely more floral, but not uh, not that fresh flower. A bit more like um, already uh, a faint, faint flower. And it's what I do like, uh, kind of pourri, with a lot of fiddle flower that I do like in Riesling. Yeah. Yeah, you can feel that uh, the, the nose is very complex, something I do like. Uh, beginning, beginning with the citrus aroma, the one you need to open up, huh? even after 48 hours. Yeah, very good nose, very citrus aroma and heather flower. And um, the typical acacia taste, honey on the, on, on, on the same time, is I do like. You can see, I mean, you can see it definitely on the video. Uh, uh, you got a very nice glycerol there, it was perfect. So the one is definitely well balanced. Yeah. Mm. A perfectly well balanced wine. You got a very nice strong attack, mellow on the, the mid palate, with all the aroma coming up, same thing. You're going to get that acacia, adel flower coming up, but uh, they are not on the freshness, they are definitely more on the heaviness, from the roundness of the wine, and uh, that is actually very, very interesting. The wine, the wine is very well balanced with a good attack. A very good uh, density in the mid palate and the acidity. Uh, something very interesting with the acidity. The acidity is not sharp at all as uh, we did open the bottle. Of course, that happened with uh, with 48 of the counter, and you're going to arise a bit a bit of that uh, acidity. And but you can feel the acidity by the freshness of the wine. So. As I say, blend of two vintage, two thousand, but it's not a blend. Huh? Uh, we'll restart the, the fermentation of the 2015 with uh, the 2017. And that brings a lot of density to the wine. Uh, like Dantel, you know, uh, that Teddy's thing that you can get in wine. And the acidity is just perfect. The length, as I say, 
will not be that uh, is a very good coatilant, but not that long that I'm used to with uh, with uh, the Kefirberg wine. But that might be definitely a sign of youth of the wine. Mm. Ah, the one is stunning. The one is stunning. The, the mid palate, just before the, the acidity arrives, is just excellent with an explosion of aroma. Now we start to get more like exotic fruit as quince. Well, quince is not that so, that's, 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 that's not so exotic in Alsace. But you're having that, that ripe fruit arriving on, uh, just before the acidity. As I say, the acidity is not. It is not sharp at all, and it's very melty in a wine, so the wine is definitely it's like linear wine line that we can get that making that wine absolutely wonderful. Mm. That's excellent. And the left coming back after that, you can start to feel the minerality of the wine, of the, of the Marne and the, the Schulk coming, and uh, that's a very interesting one. So it is a lovely wine. You can drink it now. Bring a lot of pleasure, but you're going to have to decant it, as I say, at least two days. Don't be hesitated, you know. Ah, it will be too long, but just get organized. That's it. Huh? So, but don't be afraid to decant that one at least two days before. Um, trust me, it will be a very, very interesting thing, uh, score. So you can take two bottles, open one, and uh, taste one uh, straight away, if you want to. And... Um, and the other one, open it uh, and leave it uh, two days in the fridge. You know, you will see the difference and it's just amazing. So, and that one will lay at least, at last, I guess, more than, than 10 years easily, definitely. So, that was the second video. I will be uh, packed with the first video as well. So, you will see my first reaction when I test the one in July and my reaction when I taste the one in uh, November. Uh, we are the 10th of November today. So different uh, climatic condition to taste the one. So this is Chimer 2015.17 from Domaine Band, Ergersheim, Alsace, France. So hope you did enjoy that video. And if you not, I will not say the road, but that's it. And uh, I wish you to, to see you later on. And uh, a fun drink well. Bye.